Okay, here we go, you guys. This is it. The moment I've been waiting for. Hopefully you guys have, too, if you've been watching all along. Open up the terminal. Sell items from your inventories. Find our wiring looms. We're going to sell these for $37 million. And look at that thing go. Boom! One billion and change. We no longer have to worry about money now. Not for a long time, if ever. What is this? Ooh! Ooh! Oh! 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 Dudes! Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to reach 1 billion credits, units, whatever, money, <laughs> space bucks. So, yeah, I'm at 987.4 million right there. Uh, we've got another a load of wiring looms. My last load is actually on the ship because I have to pick up my um, save beacon here. Uh, we did do a manual save because just in case something crazy happened... Um, are these, I, I'm all, I'm checking ships now pretty much everywhere I go just because we can afford, afford it now, uh, to see if we run into any more S class. Nope, nothing there. Okay. So, uh, let's hop into our ship. We're going to head up to the station, sell, sell the rest of our wiring looms and hit the 1 billion mark. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do hit that uh, like button and subscribe to the channel. Also consider sharing the video out on your social media and leave it a comment. All those things do help the channel and I greatly appreciate it. Okay, so let's head on up. Uh, another thing too, you guys might be wondering why the screen looks normal but I'm wearing my VR goggles and the reason being is because I'm actually playing in, uh, in theater mode and so um, there's an add-on that you can get for the Oculus Rift uh, called Big Screen. In fact, there's, there's several programs like big screen they, they all do a sort of the kind of same thing but what it does is it lets me play the game on a huge screen inside of a theater and and you guys can't see that i i didn't know i didn't figure out how to capture that part of it uh, so you just see the normal game screen but to me it looks like i'm sitting inside a theater playing this on a big screen and it's really really cool and the reason i'm doing that instead of real vr is because of the fact that i still haven't figured out how to use the keyboard in VR to name uh, the systems that we're going to. However, uh, once you know, when, whenever we're doing stuff that doesn't require the use of the keyboard for naming stuff, then I'll play it actual and true VR. But anyway, I just wanted to point that out to you in case you were curious why I'm wearing my goggles, even though it, to you it looks like I'm just playing in normal mode. Okay, so we got to find our find the station here. There it is, right there. Okay. And we got uh, space pirates lusting after our huge cargo hold of wiring looms. So, yeah, this is going to be f fun because, um, you know, I've spent uh, several, several hours. I don't even know. I would say probably 10 to 12 hours of, of real time grinding this out. That's how long it took me to do it. Now, you know, there was some there were some distractions and some sidesteps and a little bit of squirreling and stuff along the way. But for the most part... You know, we just kept at it, and uh, toward towards the end, it got, I was making about a hundred million an hour doing this, and so um, yeah, we really <laughs> really raked in the money. And the cool thing about this, I mentioned this in an earlier video, is that you know now that we've got our our wallet up to a billion credits, we don't really have to worry about money for a very long time in the game, and we can focus on. Uh, the quest line and doing some building, finding a place for us to make our, our, our base, uh, doing a water base, which is what I want to do. We did mess with that just a tiny little bit in the last episode, um, you know, so I can get my Subnautica on in No Man's Sky. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so yeah, we'll be able to uh, proceed with the storyline. Um, we also, you know, took on the Atlas uh, path, and I'm still not entirely sure what that exactly means. Uh, but we did do it, and so we can start to, you know, kind of pursue that a little bit, too. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and there's one thing I do need to do. I need to switch this back to the uh, starship. And the starship has my other... Does it have my other wiring loom? Oh, it must not. I think I actually did use 
some wiring looms to finish some upgrades so that doesn't matter i mean even with one stack missing we're still gonna we're gonna still hit over a billion here so it's not important it's not important okay here we go you guys this is it the moment i've been waiting for hopefully you guys have too if you've been watching all along open up the terminal sell items from your inventories find our wiring looms we're gonna sell these for 37 million and look at that thing go boom one billion and change one billion and change ladies and gentlemen one billion and 24 million to be precise that's awesome haha <laughs> okay so we've done it we have reached our goal of obtaining a billion units in no man's sky and it feels awesome we no longer have to worry about money now. Not for a long time, if ever. What is this? Ooh, ooh, oh, 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 oh. Dudes. Seriously. Wow. Uh, wasn't expecting that to happen. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do a comparison here. This one's worth more money. It's got better damage potential as they are both currently set up it doesn't have as good a scanner range but then again I've got you know a scanner upgrade on mine I kind of like the look of it better than mine too because mine's kind of all beat up and rusted looking wow I think I'm gonna do this I think I'm gonna do this you guys we're gonna you know we're gonna lose some some stuff here but I mean that's right. We've, we've got a one of the things I have to do, and I'll probably do a lot of this off camera, but we got to get all of our stuff upgraded now. I kind of have done a little bit of that along the way, but I've mostly just been focused on hitting a billion. Wow. Um, all right. Hold, hold on. Let's decline for a second. Yeah, see, that that's a lot nicer and more sleek looking than my tool because my tool is it's kind of old and banged up and rusty looking. See? <laughs> Um, yeah, I think we're going to do this, guys. I really do. Okay, so that means we've got to take some stuff apart, first of all. We'll get the materials for it. Or some of the materials, rather. And then it looks like we have a multi-tool that we're going to have to work on getting upgraded here. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. I was like... I mean, I've checked every one of these in every you know station we've come across and this I've found in a t in total I think about four S class tools maybe five um, but this is the only one that I found that was a 24 slot and all the rest of them were less than 24 slots um, and now here at the station that we make our billion we also found find a um, kick ass S class 24 slaughter that looks better than the one we have oh man that's awesome okay so let's grab this um let's see i want to compare so with all the upgrades off of here well yeah that's not really a fair comparison the only way we could do a true comparison between the two of them is if they were both completely empty and of course i don't want to destroy the ones that are already built in so i i think this is overall a better tool no matter what so we are going to accept it neutron absorber w99 slash in Surge of Zeal is what we're giving up. Okay. Now, um, here's the thing, too. I... If you guys are interested in knowing the locations of these places, I have a base computer down... Um, if you kind of like the old rustic look, I have a base computer down in the system that I found the first 24 slaughter. Um... And I'm going to, because I found this one here, I'm going to put a base computer in this system as well. Because I don't have any portals. So I don't do, I don't have the portals, I don't have the glyphs yet. But what I can do is at least put a base computer down. And then if you guys are interested in these systems, um, I'll figure out a way to, to let you know what the, the portal address is once we kind of get to the point where we can actually do portals. I'm not sure yet if I can, if I can get the address of the system yet. Um, maybe a beacon does that, I don't know. But what I will do is, uh, we'll find a planet in this system, and I will set a base computer down 
and you know eventually I'll be able to tell you guys where this is located if you're interested so you just let me know in the comments when you guys watch this video if you want to know where this and or the other location is if I don't hear anything in the comments then um, I'm still gonna put a base computer down here anyway so that way in the future you know if we need to uh, direct somebody to this place we can do so all right cool well that was awesome that was uh, that was a nice little bonus on top of the bonus of getting our billion credits super cool super cool all right let's hop over to the other side here uh, we got to get this system named and uh, get the portal or, or the terminus locked into place and Net, one of the next things we're going to have to do now is I've piled on a whole bunch of missions here. And so we're going to have to go out and do those. Now, the cool thing about them is they all stack, right? So I have like, you know, I might have 20 different missions to kill eight Sentinels for Nanites, but I can kill eight Sentinels in one shot and then turn all of those in at, at once. Now, I have to turn each one in individually, but I can turn them all into the same dude so I don't have to go back to the original station. Uh, and we're going to pick up a pack of nanites. Now, we already have 3,000 and change, but we're going to pick up even more uh, after we do that. So um, that's coming up really quick here because we're going to need those nanites, you know, to get all of our upgrades and stuff going. Uh, all right. So let's see. We want to go into the P menu, which I have to feel on my keyboard exactly. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> I remember I'm in, I'm in the, the theater mode here, so I can't see my keyboard. Okay, um, so we got we got her named. Um, now let's access the terminus so we get it registered. There we go. Excellent. Okay, cool. So now that uh, we've reached that major goal that we had of um, just not an active one. There we go. Uh, reaching a billion credits and <laughs> getting a really kick-ass uh, S-Class multi-tool here that we, that we now have to completely build back up, which is we can do. Uh, we probably have enough nanites, you know, to, to get this thing decked out. That is so neat, though. Um, the question is, what are we going to do next? What are we going to do next? There's a lot of things that we need to do. One thing I'm trying to decide what I want to do is what to do about my freighter. Now, I like my freighter. It's a Class A. It's got a pretty decent number of slots. Let's look at it. The thing is, though, is it really is a cool-looking freighter, isn't it, guys? Um, the thing is, though, is I'm not sure if I want to build up, you know, a big old massive base on here and then come across, like, a big, an even bigger S-Class later and then, you know, basically lose all of that. Because the thing is, is you have to, um, when you, when you upgrade to a new freighter, you lose everything that you've built on that freighter. From what I understand, you can't transfer it over, which is kind of unfortunate. And the reason why that's unfortunate is because, you know, from my experience, when you find a freighter that you want to buy, I guess, not, I have to think about this for a second. I guess if you... If you find a freighter you want to buy, you can, I think you can decline the purchase and then go back later and buy it again as long as it sticks around. Um, hmm. Maybe what I ought to do is do a manual save and then test that theory and see if that actually works. Because if that's true, then, you know, you find a freighter you want to buy, you decline the, the purchase, you call your freighter in, and then you can pull everything down and get all the materials back, you know, and, and then make the purchase. And at least you get the materials for all your stuff. So I'm not entirely sure how that works, but we'll have to, you know, I'll have to figure that out. But, um, uh, okay. So, yeah, we've got to, we got to figure out what to do about the freighter. So that means that assuming we stick with this freighter... I want to get started with building a base on it, and I want to get all the storage units put in because I'm almost out of storage in just its normal storage, as you can see here. So we need to do that. Um, I want to start assembling a fleet and start working on and trying out the fleet missions with the frigates. 
uh, and experience that part of the game. So we have that to do. I want to... Um, Class C. I haven't even been looking at these ships. I want to find a planet to build a base on and go through all the base building stuff. And I want to find um, a planet with active uh, indium, I think it is. Yeah, active indium on it and set up a mining uh, uh, complex and, uh, you know, do that. Uh, just for the fun of it and also because that's going to make us some big bucks too. Um, but more just to experience it and do it for fun. So those are kind of the things we have coming up. And then, of course, we have the whole, you know, following the quest line and all that too. So I kind of need to decide, I guess, what I want to do next. It might make sense for us to not worry too much about doing the planet side base building for a while and kind of stay, you know, more nomadic and mobile, which means that we can do all that stuff on our freighter and at least get a base going there and, uh, you know, just kind of follow the quest for a while and see, you know, see where it takes us. The, the thing about that, though, is it's sort of kind of irrelevant because if we found a really nice planet right now to set up a base on, we could still do that. And, you know, because of the teleporters and everything, you know, we don't, it doesn't really matter if your base is halfway across the galaxy. So, you know, from that, which is really cool, too, by the way. Uh, so from that standpoint, I mean, you know, doing a, a base now is also viable. I really am just going to have to think about it, you guys, and decide, you know, what I want to do next. Whoa, we had a little little VR lock up there. But, um, let's do this, though. We... The planet that I found the trading station on is really nasty. It's like a corrosive yucko planet. Okay, so this is going to be... With Fungal Moon, I'm, sh I'm sure this is going to be a toxic planet as well. And ammonia. Um, so... I'm just trying to figure out... Where I want to set my base computer down not necessarily you know because we're going to actually set up a base in this particular system but if i'm going to set a base computer down i might as well be on a halfway decent planet right or at least the best planet i can find in this particular system still kind of fiddling with the keyboard here uh and by the way i am going to go back to true vr mode here uh, after this episode i i think that uh it that uh, there's a, a big update that's about ready to drop, or maybe it already has, because it's August 31st today. Um, and so, one of the things that I would... This is a fragmented moon. I don't know what that means in terms of how its environment... Let's, let's just run down there and see what it looks like. Anyway, um... Yeah, I, I don't know if, if it just needs to be fixed or if I'm doing something wrong. But, you know, you can't use your keyboard to type stuff, you know, like, if you want... Oh, looks like we might have a fleet battle here. Uh, let's see. Didn't we just get a message thing that popped up? Uh, I, th I could have sworn it something popped up, but I don't see a battle commencing here. Huh. Okay. Anyway, uh, what was what, what what was I saying? I can't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, so in VR you can't type on the keyboard. So you know if you want to name a, a planet or a system or whatever, you can't do it in VR. At least I haven't been able to figure out how to do it. So I don't know if that's just something that's not working yet or if I'm doing it wrong. Whoa, that's that's really tanking my frames. Probably the transition to the graphics on the planets, like making my graphics card go. What the hell, man? I, d I don't think I'll I'll be you know playing in theater mode much. It's it's just it's too I think it's too much strain on the graphics card because you know it's playing the game and doing everything the game requires of it, but it's also at the same time you know running VR and uh, you know rendering out the theater and the big screen and all that. And it's it's kind of rough on it. Okay, this is a weird planet, very odd planet. Um, Let's see here. Let's do a land. Uh, 
Okay, yeah, this is strange. <laughs> Probably one of the stranger planets I've come across so far. There is an actual real plant there, though. Well, when I say real plant, I mean a plant that you would expect to find on Earth. Kind of plant. That is weird. So that's a plant of some sort. Nutrient source is time bubbles. Right. Time bubbles. Oh man, look at this multi tool. It's awesome. What does it give us? Oh, carbon and oxygen. Okay. Weird. Yeah, this is a very bizarre planet, not gonna lie. Really weird. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let me... Here, let's do this, actually. Is it draining life support? It is, yeah. Let's go into our... Back into our P menu. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I gotta count how many keys over P is from the A key. And so we have... Okay, this must be the moon that we're on. Well, is that a moon too? Yeah. So we're on either this recap moon or this you suck. You suck. <laughs> you suck, man. Um, this guy scanned in as me, me as Matic or whatever, uh, and I'm sure it's a poisonous environment. So this one is the only one we haven't scanned yet. So I might check that one out to see if that one is the one we might want to put a base computer on. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and take off. But what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to think about what I want to do next. What the, the next best move is to do for the Let's Play series here. And I will let you know uh, what that plan is going to be in the, next, uh, in the next episode. Okay? It's a rocky planet with cactus flesh, which means it's probably going to be a hot desert planet, but I would take a hot desert planet over a corrosive, poisonous planet any day of the week. Not that it really matters, because it's very unlikely I'm actually going to build a base here, but we are going to put a base computer here, because that way we know where this system is with the multi-tool. Oh, frames are terrible. Oh, is that a, that's a crash freighter, I think. Look at that, man. We came right down on top of a crash freighter. How cool is that? <laughs> yeah, my frames are really tanking here. Um, there is a program called Vorp X. If you guys are familiar with VR, you've probably heard of it. And what it al actually allows you to do is it allows you to play non-VR games in VR. Um, some, not every game, but some games you can actually do it with. And it also has a, uh, you know, like a theater mode like this one. This program I'm using is called Big Screen, and it's actually just a free program, because I kind of just wanted to try it and see what it's like. And, uh, Anyway, I might I might actually try that Vorp X and just see, you know, if the performance is a little bit better with it or not. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and set up the base computer here. And, um... So that way, like I said, we, we know how to get back to the system. I might go ahead and actually uh, do this freighter, too. We might as well so while we're here. Because one of the things you can get off of the, the freighter part, uh, or the freighters, are the... The upgrade parts that you need for your frigate, uh, which, by the way, is one of the many things they fix in this big patch that's coming out. Um, you don't you don't need anywhere near the number of frigate salvage modules to upgrade your freighter like you used to, because it was it was like excessively bad, <laughs> uh, and and obviously a bug too. So, anyway, guys, I think we'll go ahead and end the episode here. So, uh, when I come back in the next episode, uh, I will have a plan of action for what we're going to do next. There goes the timer. I knew it was going to happen. And um, uh, we'll figure we'll figure it out at that point. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Consider sharing out the video on your social media and leaving a comment. All those things help the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.